Welcome to Staff Works Explained. If it's your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And uh, for repeat viewers, we thank you for the support that you have given this channel for the last two years. In this video, we'll be talking about Julius Nyerere Hydropower Plant project. We'll look at the progress of this uh, project, the completion stages of various components, uh, how the filling process is going on, and uh, we'll also look at uh, the possible time when this project, will, uh, when uh, electricity generation will start. Also, we'll highlight Egypt's involvement in the construction of this dam. Julius Nyerere Hydroelectric Dam is an electric uh, hydroelectric dam which is being constructed across the uh, Rufiji River in eastern Tanzania. It's the largest hydroelectric dam in Tanzania and the fourth largest in uh, Africa and the largest dam in East Africa. The dam is named after the, Juli after the first president of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, who ruled that country between its, uh, uh, its independence and uh, 1985. The dam is being built by a consortium of Egyptian companies, uh, that is Arab Contractors Company and LCWD Electric. The construction of this project started uh, in 2019 and uh, was expected to be completed by 2023, but this has not happened. The dam is expected to generate 2,115 megawatts of electricity, and this will be used to meet the growing demand for electricity in Tanzania. The dam will also help in reducing country dependence on uh, hydropower from Lake Victoria. The construction of the dam is expected, uh, I mean is expected to create thousands of jobs during construction and after uh, it starts its uh, operation and this will boost the economy of Tanzania. The dam is also expected to help uh, in promotion of regional cooperation and integration. The dam consists of the following components. There's a dam which is a concrete gravity with a height of 131 meters, the length of 1025 meters. The dam will create a reservoir with a capacity of holding 34 billion cubic meters of water. There's a power plant which is located at the base of the dam, and this power plant will have 12 Francis turbines with total capacity of generating 2,115 megawatts of electricity. There's a transmission line which will be used to transmit or to evacuate power, uh, which will be generated by the plant and uh, uh, evacuated to the national grid. This transmission line is 400 kilovolts uh, in voltage and uh, it's 400 kilometers in length. The project also includes construction of access road to the dam and the power plant, and these roads will uh, be 21 kilometers in length. The project will also include the settlement of people who will be displaced by the construction, and the government of Tanzania has said that it has set aside 100 million for these purpose. The total cost of the project is estimated to be 3.6 billion. Initially, it was expected to cost 2.9 billion dollars, but due to change of scope, uh, the project now cost 3.6 billion dollars. Uh, according to the current reports, the dam is now approximately 87 percent complete. Uh, the dam has already started filling. Uh, the dam started uh, filling in December 20, 2022. When the dam started filling uh, in this date, it had 71.5 cubic meters of sea level. And this has now gone up to uh, 160 meters of water. Within five months, there has been uh, an increase in water levels of about 90 meters. According to Energy Minister January Mukamba, uh, by May 23, 2023, the dam's water level had reached 160.51 meters above the sea level. In order to generate electricity in this dam, the minimum level of water is, uh, is supposed to be 164 meters above sea level and this means that three meters are left before this process can start and uh, with the flow of water into the dam uh, being good since the rainfalls are good it is received it is believed that uh, before these uh, rain season ends uh, these uh, will be reached that three meters will be reached the minister says that they may not be successful during uh, this season but going by the statistics uh, they may be successful and uh, within the short period uh, these may be uh, reached. 
uh, that is and that is if rain continues to fall as as it has been the minister also adds that uh, once the dam is completed then the production will start but this is not expected to start until 2024 the resident director of uh, Julius Nyerere hydropower plant uh, mr Mwandambo has said that the construction of the dam has reached 86 percent and this includes the water diversion work which has reached 99.6 percent uh, the water canals to the, which run the plant have reached 99 percent and there is hydropower plant, uh, transmission line which has reached 98.8 percent when the dam will, uh, the dam uh, they expect that the dam filling will be completed soon so what's the role of uh, egypt in this dam president abdel Fatal al sisi the president of egypt and the ministry of housing uh, of egypt have been following up on the implementation status of this project and uh, this remember this project is being implemented by two egyptian cap companies arab contractors company and lcwd electric some of the reasons which have been given as to these following up is the is that president sisi considers the dam or this project as an opportunity to strengthen economic cooperation between egypt and tanzania he views it uh, as a symbol of friendship and cooperation and uh, building bridges between the two countries and even other African countries. The project serves as a model for collaboration and enhancement of uh, ties between these two countries. President Sisi had, has directed uh, senior government officials to visit the construction of the dam regularly. And this is a demonstration that of high level of attention and the importance that the government of Egypt places on this project. By monitoring the prog progress and coordination of uh, this dam construction, the aim at ensuring that there is smooth execution of the project by the two Egyptian companies. Egypt, with its extensive experience in hydropower engineering and operation, sees the project as an opportunity to export its expertise in the field. By participating in the construction of the dam, the Egyptian companies have shared their knowledge and contributed to the successful completion of this project, and this strengthens Egypt's position as a regional leader in hydroelectric uh, power. Uh, there is also an uh, element of strategic investment, uh, regional cooperation, and also the fact that this is a win-win for both Egypt and Tanzania, and uh, it will boost economic development for Tanzania, create jobs, promote, promote regional cooperation, and it's also a testament to Egypt's commitment to Africa and its neighbors. So thank you for watching this video. We'll be doing a follow-up to see what is happening as far as the completion of this project is concerned and also when the project will start uh, power generation for Tanzania. So for, uh, thank you for reaching this far. For the repeat viewers, we thank you for the support that you have given us. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly of do so and uh, welcome for more videos in future.